What's going on, everybody? It's your guy, DJ Marv here at I'm a Space Beast Network, 8x8, eight so I'm chilling with my little bro, Amari Smith. Hey, what's poppin'? Hey, what's poppin'? <laughs> How you doing? Good. Chilla? Yeah. Right, don't leave me hanging now. Come on, don't leave me hanging. <laughs> so what's been going on lately? Uh, nothing. I just got back from Japan, actually. I was teaching, and yeah. Well, how many classes did you teach over there? I taught five classes. Five classes. And mm -hmm. how was that teaching in Japan? How's the language barrier over there? Um, it wasn't hard, like as hard as you would think, because they like know most things like five, six, seven, eight, and like from the top. Right. So I don't think it was that hard, but it was really fun and everybody was really nice. So Ooh, okay. yeah. and how long have you been dancing? I've been dancing for seven years. Seven years. Yes. And you're how old? Fifteen. Fifteen. Okay. Now how long have you been dancing with I'm a Beast? I've been dancing with I'm a Beast like for sure, for sure, for like a year and a half. Mm -hmm. Um, but I'm got on I'm a Beast um, back in 2013, but I, I just started dancing, so I didn't really know anything, so I didn't come out to LA as much. But then I once I started progressing and becoming a better dancer, I started coming out to LA, LA more, so then I was like in the atmosphere of I'm a Beast. Gotcha, gotcha. Now what inspired you or what made you want to be a part of I'm a Beast? Um, what made me want to, oh my goodness. <laughs> Uh, okay, okay, okay. What made me want to be a part of I'm a Beast is just like the atmosphere and the love that everybody has for each other. Mm -hmm. And we're always supporting and everybody cares so much about each other and likes to give energy and support no matter what. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. Now, Will or Janelle? What? Both of them. Ah, gotta pick one. I can't. I have to pick one. Myself. <laughs> now, being a part of I'm a Beast, being a part of the family, um, taking classes here at I'm a Space. Um, you also had the opportunity to teach at Road to Build Beast in Vegas, where yes. you're from, Las yes. Vegas. How was that experience? Um, it was a really good experience. It was a lot of fun. I got to teach with Audrey, which was really, it was good. We put it together and a lot of people weren't expecting it because we have such two different styles, mm -hmm. but it was a great energy in the room and I had such a great time teaching. Gotcha. So if you could tell anybody at home anything inspiring, um, you know, something, if they're going through something personal, I'm sure we've all been through something personal, um, but how do you keep going? What do you what do? You do? Um, what I do to keep going, like if you're going through something, is just always remember that there's a reason that you're doing it and you're in that situation. Like you're in that position for a reason and whatever you're doing, whatever you're going through, is just making you stronger as a person. So you always just have to remember to, no matter what, keep going and never let people bring you back or take you down. All right, so who inspired you to dance? Um, well, my great-grandma inspired me to dance, actually, because when I was little, we used to dance around our house, and another person that inspires me is Will and Janelle, obviously. But they just, it's like, they inspire me so much to the point where it's like hard for me not to think about them while I'm dancing. Like, they inspire me, they push me every time I'm around. They always are loving and caring, but they also push me so that way I'm growing in a, position where it's not, they're not being too harsh, but they're also being very caring and to the point where it's like, okay, like you got it. So it's like, they're just very inspiring people and they've been through a lot. So it just shows that you can do whatever you want. Being a part of I'm a Beast now, have you booked anything with I'm a Beast? Have you been a part of any jobs or any opportunities outside of teaching in Vegas for Road to Build Beast? Yes, I have. I actually did a K-pop skeleton crew with Janelle, and we got to play singers in a band in a K-pop group, which was awesome and really fun. And yeah. I'm sure you love that because you perform. Yes, yes, I love to perform. He, he loves to perform. I know people look at you as a different style of dancer. What what would be your style, or what would how how do you like to look? Because people look at me differently as well because I'm. I'm the big guy in the in the dance industry, but I, I've, 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 I've put a stamp on it and I've made it my own. Like, I own this. I don't think I'm a big guy anyway. No. Ladies and still love DJ Marv. <laughs> you feel me? You, you, you feel, feel me? me? I know you kind of feel, you get that sometimes, so how, how, do you, how do you work around it or how do you? Um, well, a lot of people know me as the person who likes to go really full out mm -hmm. and dance more on the feminine side a lot of the time, but I also know how to be masculine and dance masculine. And I feel like a way of me getting out of the 
feminine side is being able to switch back and forth easily without having to be like, okay, let me redo it. I can just go back and forth. And I feel like I put a stamp on being full out and performing and always having energy. And now I'm starting to put a stamp on other things as like, oh, he can do both, he can trick, he can do this. So just being very versatile is what I'm trying to stamp my name on. That's all you gotta do. This big boy, big boy right here can flip. Yeah. <laughs> okay. That's it, man. DJ Marv, Amari Smith, we appreciate you guys. I'm a beast. I'm a space. I'm a high society. Eight by eights, we out. Deuces.